8.32 now. For American tourists in Greece, the Mediterranean beaches in Crete beckon. But for one local woman, a tiny Cretan village was her destination. Her goal? Connecting with the locals and teaching them English. Well, joining us is Christy Lund, our Global Volunteer of the Month, to tell us about a project that is very near to her heart. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. Well, let's talk about now. You've taken a couple of trips. Now, last summer you were in Greece and you were right. teaching the children conversational English. Right. And, and, and why is that important, the kids learn that type of English? Well, I think the reality is in our world, English is the, the dominating language. It's, it's the language that will get uh, people ahead. Uh, and students do learn English uh, in school. And then... Uh, Here's a boy at a, at a blackboard. And, and so this is just uh, in a day's work, maybe. You, you would work with them and, and exactly. help them with their letters. And exactly. And they'd had a few uh, years of English already, so they came with some, but it's the conversation piece that uh, is critical. So it gives them a little better job prospects in the future. All right, now, you also did, you know, stuff that was fun for the kids. Sure. I mean, learning the English is, is important, but also things like arts and crafts, projects. Mm -hmm. And here there's a picture of you. And tell us what you're doing um, teaching this young girl. Yeah, here I'm teaching my students how to make a friendship bracelet. I was thinking back to camp experiences I've had and uh, what can be fun that's also going to bring the language piece in, uh, the conversation that's going on between the students and myself as well as amongst uh, themselves. And also teaching them something very American like baseball. Exactly. They, yes. did they, they were really curious about learning Oh, incredibly learning and had game. never done it before. So it was a matter of how to even hold the bat, showing them that. So you worked on your, your, your skills there, throwing yes. the ball and, <laughs> yes. and hitting the bat. <laughs> I know they couldn't learn from me. All right, and also, so that was Greece. You also took a trip to Peru, and, and when was that? And tell us about that project. That was uh, two summers ago. That was uh, working as a volunteer in an orphanage, in the largest orphanage in South America. Okay, and I think it's important to know that because it is such a big orphanage, you said that oftentimes the siblings in this orphanage, they, they, they uh, kind of segregate them by age, mm -hmm. and they, they don't see their siblings very often. Right. Some of these uh, children have been in the orphanage since birth and uh, may not, among the days and the weeks and the years that they're together, uh, have much contact at all with their siblings. It's such a huge facility. It's hard to believe that, but yeah, it's, it certainly is true. Now, um, there, here we see a picture of kids. Um, this is them in an auditorium. Oh, no, there you are. You're there in front of the classroom, yes. and what are you teaching them? Are you just reading uh, from a book? <clears throat> just reading from a book. I happen to speak Spanish as well, so it was a, a book in Spanish, but I could also translate for them in English um, to uh, kind of give the, the correlation between the two. And uh, being a teacher myself, it was fun to be in the front of the classroom with uh, a different group of kids. Okay, and this one, this is fun. Another fun game with sure. kids in the auditorium plays. And this is something my daughter loves to do, heads... Head, shoulders, shoulders knees, and toes. toes. Exactly. So again, you've got the language, you've got the fun. This happened to be a celebration we had uh, with all the kids at the end of the two-week program. Why do you think it's important to volunteer, you know, on a global level? Well, I think uh, it it brings someone like myself to the bigger world it brings the world also back to me that i can then bring into my classroom um and it's helped you as a teacher here absolutely absolutely here yes and bringing uh the bigger world into uh the lives of my kids that's a good reason all right well christy thank you so much for coming on today and sharing your photographs you. and your story been a pleasure you are interested in learning more about becoming a global volunteer it's as easy as this. you can just log on to globalvolunteers.org